Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done anything like this. I've been kind of paying more attention to the, you know, some more important stuff than this, which is our political state of our country and, and you know, and the dangers that we're in. So, which I will be moving that stuff to uh, Rumble, all my political stuff, because YouTube gave me a strike because um, my content didn't match up with their agenda. So anyways, right now what I have done I just did this yesterday with a buddy, and I've been wanting to do this. This stuff was the best stuff that I could find that fired through my gun the best. This is a Howa Mini Action 6.5 Grindle with the standard 22-inch barrel. It comes with two, three different types of barrels. It comes with a 20-inch heavy barrel. You can get this gun in for this caliber. You can get it in the 22-inch standard, which is what I have, which gives you a little bit more muzzle velocity. And you could also get it in a light 22-inch barrel. Um... But my specific one is the uh, the 22 inch standard barrel. I have a Nico Sterling, uh, two two and a half to ten power on here, and I uh, love the gun. The only thing I do not like about this gun that I can think of right now, and uh, honestly, it really is the only thing, is the place where the magazine release is is right here, and you barely bump it, and it, it falls out. It doesn't take much pressure at all. So if you walk through the woods holding your gun right here, like I will, like I like to, there's a chance that you bump that and you lose your magazine. It's more than just a chance. It's like a, it'll happen. So what I do when I walk through the woods is I, I keep one in the chamber and I keep my my full loaded magazine in my pocket. So I shared some groups with y'all a while back on this gun, and um, I wasn't very impressed with them. But the only groups I was impressed with was this PPU. Hollow point boat tail, 120 grain stuff. This stuff shoots great. And, uh, but the only thing I didn't know about it as to whether or not it'd be effective against deer. So I'll have to do some, you know, so I've been doing some research and trying to find other people hunting with it and I can't find anything. So if any of y'all watching the channel have hunted with this, let me know. Also, if you have hunted with these here, which these are the 6.5 Grendel, uh, 120 grain open tip match. Let me know. Obviously, I've heard, and, and with all of my experience, I know anything labeled match is not good for hunting. But looking at both of these bullets, the, the copper around the hollow point of this one is thinner than the one on here. So I would think that this bullet would be better for hunting than this bullet. And also something else that le leads to that theory in my head is the fact that if you look at these two bullets here this one obviously is a little bit longer which means that it has less lead and more copper which means that it probably has a thicker jacket and which probably means it wouldn't expand as easily as this american eagle stuff here so i really should have them in this order this one closer to its box and this one closer to its box its box they're both 120 grain um but this one is a little bit shorter and this one is a little bit longer, and I think that is because of the amount of copper in this one versus this one. So, um, I, I do not know. I do not know which one would do better on deer. I would lean to think that this one would actually do better on deer. Right now, there isn't a whole bunch of hunting-style ammo available in this caliber that you could find. There really is a lot of it. Winchester, um, not Winchester, I'm sorry. Uh, Federal and I think Remington makes some. The Federal Fusion is the 120 grain hunting ammo for this that I'm very very interested in getting my hands on. This gun has done a lot better in the 120 grain bullets versus the 123 grain bullets. So that's why I'm trying to go with that. I did order. I didn't, actually, I didn't order. I picked this up at Bass Pro. This is Barnes TSX, all copper hunting bullet. And they are, let's see, they're 120 grain. So I'm, I'm, I have a reloading kit right down here, reloading stuff. It's uh, What I have is a Lee uh, Precision Breech Lock Challenger kit, I think it's called down there. I've never even used it yet because it's hard to get powder right now. But uh, these are the bullets. They're really great looking. Uh, all copper, longer, which means that they will have better ballistic coefficient as far as my knowledge goes. Um, so I'll be loading them. I have 50 of these. I'll try to get some more of these to continue loading with if I can find them. I'm also interested in getting some spear gold dot. But so I want to go over with you uh, the groups that I got with this stuff the other day. And I was shooting with the bipod. I didn't have anything sturdy behind here. But I still feel like I made some really good shots. I pulled one of the shots 
Um, but I will show you the groups that I got. And I'm, I'm really happy about these groups. Absolutely love them. So I got this group right here, which is uh, just about an inch um, group. I mean, I would have done better. I know I would have. it would have been a better group if I would have had been using my Caldwell 7 rest, which I have sitting right up over here on my shelf. So that's, that is my group with this stuff right here. I was super excited about that. You know, that's, that's deer, it's a, that's deer killing and I really like it. So another thing that I went and done is I didn't have another target. So I just went and burnt a hole in this with, a, uh, I had a guy come walk with me and he was smoking a cigarette and asked him if he had burned me a hole right there for me to shoot at. So he did. And then this was my first shot. And then I know that I pulled that shot. I felt it. I 100% know that I pulled it. I'm not here to shoot smoke up y'all's skirt. I want to give y'all honest reviews and the firearms and, and, and different and bullets that I used so y'all can make, you know, good buying decisions when it comes to buying something. If you own this specific rifle, the best ammo that, that is the most accurate for this gun. Um, so, anyways, uh, that was my second shot. And that was my third and fourth. And if I just count that, that's just about the same as this group. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe an inch and an eighth. Uh, actually, let's see. I have a tape right here. So, let me go ahead and measure these groups for you. This first group... It's under an inch. So th this is um, about set, uh, six eighths or seven eighths of an inch right here. And this one at the bottom is an inch and an eighth. Inch and an eighth and a seven eighths inch group right here. I'm super happy with that. I do have my, t my tape right here. Let's see if I can show y'all. It's, it's hard to hold this stuff in front of the camera, but I'll do the best that I can. Set seven eighths of an inch right there. So you go from the center of the bullet hole on each uh, of those. Um, so anyways, I'm super happy with that. That's, that's really good. I don't have a lot of ton of ammo. Well, I do, I kind of do have a lot of ammo, but you know, it's it's not easy to get ammo. So I'm trying to conserve what I do have. So um, yeah, so th this stuff is the winner by, you know, a quarter inch or so, a little, a little less than a quarter inch, but it's still pretty good. The groups would have, like I say, would have been even better if I had a more of a solid, shooting platform like something under under here like a sandbag or something it would have been better but it is what it is i still think that I, it, it did pretty good for me not having that i i kind of used a ball at my fist and used that the best i could but then your heartbeat goes through your fist and makes the the bottom of the you know the gun kind of bounce a little bit that you, and you can notice that through the scope especially at 100 yards and even further it'd be really noticeable so i've shot the hornady stuff i've shot hornady black 123 grain hollow point boat tails, Hornady Black ELDs, uh, and Hornady Custom 123 grain SSTs, and none of those group well at all. So I think like I was getting like two and three inch groups with that stuff. This stuff right here tightened up a bunch, and I'm thinking that leans. Uh, not saying that Hornady is a bad ammo. I haven't had good luck with it. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, even my 350 Legend, uh, which is just sitting behind me. Uh, the Hornady, uh, deer, the Hornady American Whitetail shot the worst out of it, and um, so like I haven't just had a really good luck with that. Um, but it just depends on your gun. You know, some guns like it, some don't. Some like this stuff, some don't. But I think that the Howa um, Mini Action Model 1500 in this specific barrel, um, which is the standard 22 inch barrel likes the 120 grain stuff so i'm trying to get my hands on i know remington makes some stuff that's core locked i believe uh for um six five grendel also i know that federal makes the federal fusion and i'm also trying to get some different 120 grain hunting bullets that are just packaged like this for me to reload and i will uh you know tune y'all back in on all that stuff and keep y'all informed but for now, that's that's the groups that I got. Um, I know, like I said, I'm I'm really happy with that. You know, that's that's killing deer. Like I said, that's the tip of my finger. You know, that's a small group. You know, I'm happy with that. That's a hundred yards. It really is at a hundred yards. I know I didn't film it, but I'm not gonna sit here and 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 not tell the truth about it because I'm just trying to help other people be able to make good decisions on their gun and ammo purchases if that's you know the way that they want to look at it or uh, whatever. So. Anyways, oh, by the way, I have a, you know, that, that's my buck right there. 
that I shot. Oh, I'm going to get it over here for y'all to see. Oh, it ha did ha does have a broken tine, but it is a, you know, it's an old buck. It definitely had shrank in size, but I shot this with my 350 Legend this past year season. I'm going to be mounting it. I have a whole bunch of, um, not a whole bunch, but y'all can see in my, some of my short videos. And I do have a video on how to do a classic um, deer mount that I do with, with deer leather and um, you know, specialty wood for the plaque and stuff like that. Y'all can go check that stuff out if you're interested in that. And, uh, if y'all have any, um, information about either one of these two and how they perform in a deer or through ballistic gel, leave it in the comment section. If, uh, you, if you know of another video that does, uh, have these fired through ballistic gel and what they do in ballistic gel, like leave the description or whatever or the name of that video in my comment section so I can go check it out and so I can try to get my hands on uh um a, a, you know, obviously a different ammo if these don't perform well um you know for hunting because that's why I got this you know that's what, what the reason why I got this thing so anyways I love all y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and also if, if y'all do follow me for any of the political um opinions and talk and stuff like that that I do. I'm no longer going to be doing anything on here as far as that goes um, for the time being, unless something changes on here, which I don't believe it will, but hopefully it will. I'll be moving to Rumble for that stuff, and uh, I will let you know what the name of that channel will be and for y'all to go and follow me there, but I will continue to make this type of videos here, and uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I love you. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you next time.